Hi everyone, my name is Juan Pestana, and today I'm really excited to show you a tool that I developed called MPE for All. What this tool does is pretty simple but powerful. Uh, it converts any standard MIDI keyboard like this one here into an MPE capable keyboard. Let me show you how. Alright, now let's get over the installation real quick. First, you need to install Node.js, which is a program that lets you run JavaScript and its related tools on your computer. After it's installed, you're going to open the terminal and you're going to type node space iPhone V. This is just to check if uh, Node's uh, installed or not. So you can see that there's the version of it. That means that everything is fine. Um, next command, you're going to change directory, so it's CD. And you can just drag and drop the folder, um, the mp 4 all folder in it and click enter. That's it. Just create, the, change the directory. And then the next command will be npm space init space iPhone y. All right. The next command will be npm space install space fight. Enter. And last but not least, uh, you're going to type npx fight, space fights. There we go, enter. And this will create a link. Once the link is done, you just uh, select and open the link. And there we go. Now, let's walk through the interface of MPE for all. At the top, you've got MIDI input. So this should be your MIDI keyboard. Then you have MIDI output. This should be set to ISC driver bus on Mac or Yoke MIDI if you're on Windows. Next up, Glissando Speed. Uh, this controls how fast your glide is, so uh, lower values equals faster Glissando, whereas higher values equals slower Glissando. Then there's Auto Glide. This is a fun one because it reacts to MIDI velocity. And it's polyphonic, which means multiple notes can glide independently. Next is the LFO section, and here you can set your tempo, let's change it to 85 BPM, for example, and hit start LFOs to get things going. Um, then let's dive into each modulation line, uh, channel pressure for example. Um, here's the canvas, and you can draw freely to create modulation shapes, and if you stop halfway through, the next stroke connects smoothly to your last point. Um, it's loopable with options for cycle length, amount, and retriggering. Next one is slide, and this one works exactly the same. Uh, draw your modulation, adjust the settings, and again, it's polyphonic, so it works per note. And that's it. I made MPE for all to help musicians unlock their expressive performance without needing to buy expensive gear. So if you wanted to try it out, click the link down below and download the tool and follow the installation guide. Thanks for watching, have fun with it, share with your friends and see you in the next one.